Uh, this one is easy to demonstrate. We, whoop, we turned it off again. We turn this on, the plate current has switched to plate current function. It's 1.5 amps, it goes to standby. Let's look at that again and let me bring the drive up more slowly so we can see what's happening. Now let's say I had the plate meter in the high voltage position. It's reading plate voltage, maybe 2400 volts right now. And I increase the drive now. The plate current apparently is less than 1.4 amps because nothing here has happened. But as I reach some point here, you see this just switched to plate current. This is an amp and a half. And after three or four seconds, it has switched to standby. The light which is flashing over here is number 16 and fault 16 is plate over current. Let me read the definition out of the manual. Fault 16, plate current greater than 1.35 amperes for more than four seconds continuous. Note, the plate current button, LED, flashes for several seconds before a fault 16 trip occurs. Now certainly most of these demonstrations are really truly abuseful, abusive of the amplifier. Uh, it's true that we do them routinely in our checkout lab to assure that the protective functions and software are all working correctly. We do them at ham shows routinely. I wouldn't hesitate to do it at any time myself, but certainly if I weren't associated with the company, I wouldn't do it as a, as a matter of routine. There's always the chance that something can go wrong. Just as I wouldn't drive my car down the road at 140 miles an hour to demonstrate that I can take a curve, uh, you, know, you get the point. What can you do that would damage the Alpha 87A? Well, you could drop it off the shipping dock or down a flight of stairs. Soak it in salt water, uh, it might very well survive that, but it's certainly uh, not good for it. Or you could hook it to a 500 or a 1000 watt amplifier. Believe it or not, we have encountered cases in the past where certain customers have done that, used a 30L1 or an, even an NCL2000 to drive one of our amplifiers, and it almost inevitably will damage something because even the bypass relays, the circuitry that's in there to bypass the amplifier to protect it from those circumstances isn't capable. There's no reason to design that to handle such extreme abuse. So I don't want to give the impression that the amplifier is designed to handle 500 watts a drive, or for that matter, even really 200 or 300 watts a drive. It's only designed to try, it is designed to protect itself against accidental, occasional application of excessive power of the levels that the larger modern transceivers are capable of delivering, up to 200 watts a carrier. And uh, unfortunately, under some conditions of misadjustment, when the drive control, ALC controls and the like are not adjusted according to manufacturer specifications, possibly occasional spikes up to about 400 watts. The 87A will protect itself against that sort of thing. It is not intended to protect itself against foolishness, <laughs> such as driving with a, with a 30L1 or some other 500 watt source. Now, in addition to the protective functions that I've described and demonstrated, the 87A's microprocessor system also monitors many critical voltages and currents, even including tube heater current, watching for anomalous conditions and ready to shut the system down instantly in the event of a, of a condition that threat, threatens damage. Uh, for example, there are perhaps two dozen uh, such fault codes assigned, which you're never likely to see but which in the event of an abnormal condition or possibly a component failure in the amplifier make it, uh, in most cases, very easy to quickly pinpoint the cause. So let me just take a few moments now to sum up what we've already covered. The Alpha 87A, in a package not much larger or heavier than the typical transceiver, delivers Alpha 77 DX class power, that is one and a half kilowatts continuous key down all day, and a lot of peak power reserve. It gives you instantaneous or virtually instantaneous band change, which is totally automatic. You change bands with your transceiver, you transmit within less than one second. The amplifier is on the new frequency, the new band, fully tuned up, 
giving you full power output. You hardly know it happens. And the Alpha 87A has microprocessor-based intelligent protection functions that make it very unlikely that you will accidentally damage it unless, of course, you drop it down a flight of stairs. Now, in addition, I absolutely guarantee you that you will love your Alpha 87A or we'll give you your money back. We've advertised that ever since we introduced it. Within 30 days of receiving the 87A, if you decide for any reason that it isn't what you want, you can get a return authorization from our service department and you can ship it back to us and get a total refund, assuming only, of course, that you return it in, in like new condition. In addition, ETO, having pioneered multi-year warranties, offers a four-year factory limited warranty, non-prorated. The coverage is just as great in the 48th month as it is in that first month. Now, there are some additional technical capabilities of the Alpha 87A that I want to go over with you briefly, too, because I think they're very important. One is the optional, really it's a separate product, what we call the Digital Antenna Selector, or DAS, which when used in conjunction with the 87A, gives you the ability to automatically program and select on each of the nine amateur HF bands any one of up to 36 different antennas. In other words, the control box, the digital antenna selector has the ability to control a 36-way selection network of relays. Uh, the 87A also has a very fast silent electronic TR system standard, which we'll demonstrate here shortly. And finally, it's the only high power amplifier on the market that I'm aware of that can be operated fully remotely, either within the station by a personal computer or even a dumb terminal, by telephone modem, or even over the air, UHF radio link. And we have customers who are using them in all of these fashions.